Hello all and welcome to this hands-on lab. In our lab today, we will learn how to create an IAM role to be assumed by an AWS service. Scenario for our lab today, you need to create an IAM role providing read-only access to S3 and to be assumed by AWS EC2 service. So the scenario is pretty straightforward. We need to create a role that has read-only permissions or provides or gives read-only permissions to S3. And this role will be assumed or used by AWS EC2 service, right? So we will basically be creating or launching an EC2 instance and then associating this role to that particular instance while we launch it. Prerequisites for the hands-on lab is knowledge of IAM roles. So in case you do not know what this service is all about, please refer to this particular AWS tutorial. Link to the tutorial is mentioned right here at the bottom. Steps for our hands-on lab today, right? So there are two core things that we are going to do. First, we will create the role. And second, after that, we will test the role. So if you would like, you can pretty much pause the video right here and follow the steps, right? Always remember that if you want to do this by yourself, right, you need to have the required permissions. In case you do not have the permissions, you will not be able to create the role. And if that's the case, then just follow along and you will basically learn how to create a role to be assumed by an AWS service. So let's get started. To create a role, first we will go to IAM, then roles, click on create role, click on AWS service, select EC2. And once we have selected EC2, we will basically select, there's an option there at the bottom, allows EC2 instances to call AWS services on your behalf, right? We will attach this particular policy, provide the role name and a description, and then eventually create the role. So let's get started. Right, so I'm going to, this is IAM roles, as you can see on the top. I'm going to click on create role. So this is AWS service that has been selected. I'm going to select EC2. If you have recently used it, then you'll have it over here, right on the top. If not, just scroll down and you will see EC2 right here. So select EC2. Then select your use case. We are going to select the first one in the list, right? That allows EC2 instances to call AWS services on your behalf. So select this one. Click on next. Here we have to select this particular S3 policy. So I'm going to type in S3. This is the read-only policy. Next, if you want to give any tags, you can give them here. Next, here we will give the role name. So I'm going to say my EC2 S3 role. Now you can pretty much give any role name that you like and the corresponding description. And once you have done this, go ahead and click on create role. So my role has been created successfully, right? And now it is time to go ahead and test this role. So to go back, we have completed all of these steps. So our role is there in place. Now we will test our IAM role. So in order to test our role, we will go ahead and provision a T2 micro Amazon Linux EC2 instance with public IP enabled port 22 open and the role that we just created, we will select that IAM role and associate it right to our EC2 instance. After that, we will SSH into our EC2 instance. And then remember the role provides read only access to S3. So we will try and enlist all our buckets and then we will also try and create a bucket and let's see what happens, right? So I'm gonna move away from here. 
go to EC2. I'm going to launch an instance. Right, I'm going to select this one, Amazon Linux 2. So click on select. T2 micro. Next. Here, I'm going to launch this in my default VPC. You can pretty much launch in any VPC that you like. I'm going to enable public IP. And this is where our role should be. So there it is, my EC2 S3 role. So I'm going to select that role and associate this role to my EC2 instance. Click on next. Storage is fine. Tags if you want to add any. Now you need to open port 22. Now I have an existing security group that has both 80 and 22, but all that you need is only 22 to SSH to your EC2 instance. Review and launch, launch. Select your key pair, launch instances. And our instance should be launched successfully. Right, so our instance is coming up now. Let's see. It has this public IP, so I'm gonna copy my public IP. And hopefully this should be up in a bit. So I'm going to wait for a couple of minutes, right? For this instance to come up and then continue further ahead. So my EC2 instance is now up and running. And now let us go ahead and SSH into our EC2 instance. So I'm going to copy the public address again. This is my party open right here. So I'm going to copy it right there. To change the font and then let us SSH into this particular instance. So easy to user and I'll clear the screen. So remember that we associated this particular role that we just created with this, but with this instance, right? And it does provide read-only access to S3. So if that is true, we should be able to execute this command, right? So this command right here. So let us go ahead and execute that particular command. So we'll say AWS S3 LS. And these are the two buckets that I have. Now it has only given me read-only access. That means I cannot create a bucket. So let's see if I can create a bucket or not, right? And the command for that is right here. So let us say, or type it here, so AWS. Let me just clear the screen. AWS S3 MB. S3 colon colon, and you can pretty much give any name. This is my test bucket for my roles. Hit enter. And you can see that access is denied because I only have read only access to S3. So guys, this is how you typically test this thing out. Now, if you really want to kind of go further ahead, the other thing that you can do is you can actually go and change the permissions within your role, right? So let me show you that. So I'm going to go back to IM roles. Now, the lab typically would end over here, right? But I'm just showing you if you want to kind of you know, go ahead and do something additional, test a little further. So let me go back and let me go to I am rules. So this is my I am role. 
right here. And one of the things that you can do is you can go ahead and delete or disassociate this policy. And then again, run those very same commands and both the commands should basically fail. And after that, the other thing that you can do is you can actually change this policy and remove the read-only policy and basically attach the full access policy and then go ahead and try and create the bucket, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to go ahead and remove this uh, policy right now and then try and execute those commands again. And they should typically fail. So as you can see, I have detached that particular policy, right? And this role does not have any permission policies associated with it right now. So now if I go back and execute those commands again, they should fail. So let me go back and execute those commands. So this is our CLI and let us go back and basically execute this command, right? So again, error occurred. Of course, I do not have any permissions. And if I cannot read, I definitely cannot create a bucket. So you can see that this role is functional. Now, just like how we detach the policy, we will basically go ahead and attach a full access policy. And both of these commands should execute successfully. So let me go back and attach a policy. So if you see over here under policies where my mouse is right now, I've attached an Amazon access, S3 full access policy. And this should allow me to successfully run both the operations, right? So this policy, permissions policy, has been associated to this role. So now let us go back and see if we are able to successfully execute both the commands. So let us execute those commands again. So I'm gonna clear the screen. I'm gonna list my buckets. I can list my buckets. And this time around, I should be able to create this particular bucket, assuming that the bucket name is unique and available. So my bucket was created successfully. Here is my bucket right there, right? And since I have full access, I should be able to even delete this bucket or remove this bucket. Bucket has been removed and I'm back to two buckets again. So this is how you can create an IAM role, right, for an AWS service. The service can assume the role. In case of EC2, you can launch an instance, associate that role. And again, you can make some changes to the permissions and test your role if you need to. So I hope that this lab was helpful. Do practice this on your own. If you're not able to practice for whatsoever reason, then I hope that this particular lab was helpful for you to know how to go about creating roles. So that's it from me today. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.